CCG in 60 seconds. Is this supraventricular tachycardia with aberrancy or ventricular tachycardia? A quick survey of this ECG shows two main zones. One that is conducted in a fairly wide QRS morphology and one with transition zone. We know that for those that are conducted in the white QRS morphology, they are of left axis deviation and it is not left bundle branch block. A survey of lead 2 looking at P waves will show that there are P waves on lead 2. You could see P waves marked out by the black arrow and it suggests that there are more QRS than P waves. This makes it AV dissociation. Let us now focus on the transition zone. There are P waves and QRS. Some are very narrow, some are broad. You could figure out that these are actual capture beats with P waves seen in this lead on this QRS that's conducted in a very narrow QRS manner. And there are P waves with a slightly wide QRS gets wider before it turns to the white complex tachycardia. This would be fusion beats. So with all these features in mind, we know that this is an ECG feature of VT. In fact, this patient has left posterior fascicular VT. It is idiopathic, it is sensitive to rubber male, and is amenable to catheter ablation. This has been ECG in 60 seconds.